Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to create a form with navigation buttons in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a form with navigation buttons in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we want to open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start. Go to All Programs. Go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. Just click Microsoft Access 2010 icon in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. This view is called as a Backstage View where by default the new option will be selected and blank database will be selected. All your work will be stored in the default location my document. Now I want to create a database and I want to save it in a different location. How to do this? So here you can able to find an icon called as browse icon. You just click on this icon. When you click on this icon it will generate a new file new database dialog box where you can able to navigate to, uh, to a different places in your systems so I'm going to navigate to desktop and I'm going to create a new folder let us name the folder as student and open the folder and provide the name for the database and click OK now click create in order to create a database whenever you click create icon will generate a database with a default table called as table 1 so now I wish to redesign it so select the table and here you can able to see view you just click on view and switch to design view whenever you switch to design view, view for first time it will ask for the table name so you want to specify the table name so I'm going to name it as student so by default the first row that is ID will be assigned with primary key I wish to remove this primary key how to remove this primary key? just right click and click on primary key in order to remove it so now so let us say ID let us say student ID and it's going to be number it's an student ID and next is going to be student name it's going to be text it's an student name and next is going to be English it's going to be number it's going to be English marks and next is going to be IT and it's going to be number and it's going to be IT marks and next is going to be math it's going to be number and uh, let's say math marks so now I want to save this here's the option save just save this information and go to view and switch back to data sheet view so now I want to enter the data for student ID, student name, English, IT and Max. And before that, I wish to add the primary key for student ID. How to add a primary key? It's very simple. So go to view and switch to design view and select the row you wish to add the primary key. Here is the option called as primary key or else right click where you can able to see primary key. So these are the two options you can use it. So I'm going to use primary key and save it and once again switch to data sheet view and try to provide the information so no need you want to provide the same information just like me you can use the different information as you like so use the tab key to navigate to rows between rows and between columns so use tab and use tab and use tab Okay, now save this information and now I want to create a form for the table student. 
so ensure that before creating a form the table is to be selected so now the table student has been selected now go to create tab where you can able to see form okay again go to create tab and click on form in order to create a form just wait okay now the form has been created with all the fields like student ID, student name, English, IT and math box. So now I want to create a navigation buttons. So where you can able to see form layer tools which has three tabs design, arrange and format. In design tab where you can able to see controls. So these are the controls where you can able to use it along with the form. So now I am going to use buttons. So click the button and click on the form and just wait. Okay now command button wizard will be open where it will be having categories and actions, categories like record navigation, record operations, form operations, report operations, application and miscellaneous. So now we want to use record navigation. Just click on record navigation. I'm going to use go to first record. Click next. So there are two options. Either you can use uh, the text or picture. I'm going to use picture and click next and finish. Now a new button will be created. So now I wish to create one more button. So just click on button and click on form. And just wait and now the same the command button wizard will be open and choose record navigation and this time go to lost record next use picture next and finish so now once again a new button will be created and I wish to create one more button so go to button click on button and draw it on form and just wait so again our command button wizard will be open and choose record navigation and this time go to next record click next and use picture or else if you use, wish to use text no props you can use text I wish to use picture next and finish now I need to create one more for previous so click on button and draw it on form just wait again command button wizard will be open choose record navigation and choose go to previous and next and use picture and finish now you have created all the navigation buttons now here is the option called as form view or else you go to this you can able to change the form view view and form view or else here is the option form view you can able to switch order so where you can able to navigate so so first the last the next and previous okay so this is how you want to use the navigation buttons and forms in Microsoft Access 2010 I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.